Org mode is known as the Emacs killer app and truly it is a remarkable piece of software. I don't want to sound hyped but Org mode is one of the best programs I've used in my life. It is really that good. I hope that with this video and the, and the upcoming ones I will try to convince you so you could see for yourself. But let's start with something simple. So Org mode is a um, personal information manager or personal knowledge manager. It is also known as an outline tool, which means that it, it helps you create outlines. It helps you give structure to your documents so that you can create sections and you can see how those sections are related one with another. So let's see it in practice. So I have this tiny text document here. And the first thing is to enable the org mode. So you can just say org mode. And now, as you can see at the bottom right corner, this file is now treated as the org mode file. Org mode documents are just text. It consists of headlines, block of text, some meta information, and sometimes some other more elaborated structures. In any case, it's always a textual format, which means that it's not proprietary. It can be easily stored in a source control manager, such as Git, and then you can see how it evolves. And the simplicity coupled with the enormous potential given you through different keystrokes is something that makes org mode so remarkable. So let's start with something very simple. So I have those three paragraphs here and let's give it a title. So I'll create my first headline. In order to do that, you need to use the star sign or the asterisk sign. So you, you type the asterisk and then space and then you type the name of your headline. So let's say about org mode. As you can see, the asterisk was replaced by this character. So this is something which is configurable. You can stick with the asterisk sign, but I decided to use another sign to designate headlines. So now we have this headline here, which isn't anything out of ordinary yet, but now I can hide this and show by pressing the tab like so. So let's go further and let's now split those three paragraphs into separate headlines as well. And let's nest those headlines inside the top level headline. So in order to do that, we need to create another level headline, which we can do using two asterisk signs. And let's say introduction. Let's do the same for the second paragraph, chapter one. And finally summary. So now I can go here at the top and I can fold it as before. But I can also fold two of each headline of each section. I can also use shift tab to cycle through possibilities. So in this case, I can see the top level. I can see only second level headlines and I can see everything. So at this point, this is very similar to what other editors provide, for example, Word or Apple Pages. What's interesting here in org mode is that you have those key bindings provided you by Emacs and by org mode that allows you to do some changes very quickly and to reorganize your document. So let's go ahead and let's let's nest another sections inside chapter one. So here let's use three asterisk signs and let's say about headlines. Now I can press control return and I can create another headline of the same type. So let's say about outline and about checklists, like so. Now let's, let's add some text here. So this is about headlines. This is about outlines. And this is about checklists. So I have those three headlines. And let's say I made a mistake. So I wanted to start with the outlines. So I don't need to copy that. I can just use meta arrow up and I can quickly change the position of my outline. So this also works for uh, any headline. So I can quickly s move this up and down. As you can see, all the nested headlines go along. I don't need to worry about it. So I, I'm manipulating this section as a whole. This is a structure. It's not just a text. So let's go back to this position. So now headline outline should be first. 
let's say checklist should be at the top level like that let's say i would like to now make a chapter about headlines chapter two so i can easily do that by pressing meta h to promote the headline so instead of being on, on the third level it's now on the second level i can do the same with other and i can demote or nest them using meta l so meta h to promote them and meta l to nest them so as you can see if i promote and then demote this headline goes along because at the moment when it was promoted this headline became within this one inside each section you are not only limited to the text but you can for example create lists so you can create a numbered list so first item second item third item and whenever i press control meta the counter the 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 number is increased automatically. I can also use the keystrokes to change the order. So meta arrow up, as you can see, the number changes. I can also use unnumbered lists. So I can, for example, say one, two, three. And as before, I can quickly change the order. So now my document is pretty large. I can again use shift tab to cycle and see the structure at once. I don't have to open each of those sections. I can quickly move them around as I want. And this way I can quickly and easily construct my desired structure. So before we go, uh, there is one thing I don't like about the default key bindings in org mode. As I said, to promote and demote, we use meta H and meta L to the mode, which comes from the Vim keys for movement. So H is for left and L is for right, but H and K are not used. Instead, you have to do meta arrow up and arrow down. So let's quickly change that so it's more consistent. So I will go to my config and here after org mode, I defined two additional key bindings for the org mode, which is that if I press meta J, I will move the item down. And if I press meta K, I will move it up. So now meta K and it goes up and down. And H to promote and L to demote. H and H. This was a very short and basic introduction to the org mode. In the next episodes, we will continue exploring it. May the Emacs Force be with you.